Hi, Rob from Drecky Tech here, and this is a review of the Ekin H8R. I gave this camera a 2.5 out of 5, noting that its video quality just isn't there. Ekin claims that this is a 4K capable camera, but I want to make it clear right away that the highest usable resolution is actually 1080p60. Overall, that's this camera's fatal flaw. Were it advertised as a 1080p camera, it would actually be alright, but because it's falsely advertised as 4K capable, and can barely even do 2K, I can't recommend it. The Ekans body is a plastic shell, and it's a little more solid than other cameras I've tested. The buttons have a nice click to them, and the screen is bright. As well, the battery door is a little bit easier to open than other cameras I've used. On the negative side of things however, the battery included with this camera is proprietary, so it will not fit most third party batteries for sale. Ekin does include a second battery and charger, but it's just silly to make it something different. The user interface itself is basic and there aren't many options for video customizations. The camera is really what you see is what you get. The thing that stands out to me and not in such a good way again is that it takes way too many clicks to switch from video mode to settings and back to video mode. In terms of video quality, the results are generally not so good. Both 4K and 2K modes are 30 frames per second, but they use a JPEG-based codec which results in jittery and jarring video. The 4K mode actually looks worse than the 2K mode. After viewing it on my computer, I quickly switched out of it so I don't have much sample footage for you. The only usable resolution of this camera is 1080p, and in 1080p it does an okay job. Colors are solid and the frame rate is smooth, but due to the way it downsamples, a lot of detail is lost and sharpness is way too high. This is the result of a low-end processor that hasn't been optimized for the sensor. The difference is really visible when it's compared directly to my control camera, the GetUp Git 2. The GetUp has better color and detail is a lot smoother when riding down this trail. I took the H8R on a bike trip with me and while the 1080p video it outputs isn't bad, while watching it later, I was consistently aware that I would have gotten better video with another camera, and that's also aside from the camera lacking gyro stabilization. I don't feel like it ruined my vacation photos and videos, just that they could have been better. I would not recommend this camera as a dash cam either, as it gets very hot while recording, which would only be doubly so if it's under the windshield and exposed to the sun. The one thing that is really good about this camera though is the photo quality. Compared to other cameras with the same image sensor, it has a good amount of detail and very little smudging. It made me realize what this camera could truly be capable of if the 1080p video is optimized and it makes it all the more disappointing that it is not. Color is accurate, details are sharp, and the images look good overall. The one thing worth noting is that for some strange reason this camera only does a wide image, which is cropped to 16x9 when the sensor is actually 4 to 3 That means that you're losing some of the sides and the real resolution of the final still images are only 9 megapixels. A lot of information that could be there is missed as a result. In terms of other things the camera does, it has a bunch of features which, in my opinion, are kind of silly, like the 360 VR video. I used the camera while swimming, but I wouldn't trust the waterproof case while diving as it doesn't have a lock on the latch. When compared to the Suku C30, it becomes clear that the video lacks detail. In such a low resolution on YouTube, it's going to be hard to tell, but diving deeper and looking at a crop, the problems become clear. Things like street signs and license plates are difficult to read, while details look smudged overall. At night, the video just doesn't hold up. It's dark and dull, and also the shaking is much more apparent on the H8R because it doesn't have a gyro stabilization. Revisiting the earlier footage comparing the H8R and the Git 2 Pro, the difference is even farther apart. I was able to set a custom white balance on the scene with the Git 2, which results in far more accurate colors. As well, still images look better and the user interface is far less cluttered. It really goes to show how much better of a camera you can get for only a couple dollars more. Overall, the H8R does work fine in 1080p, but there's better options on the market that do offer real 2K at this price range. Currently, it's not possible to get a real 4K camera for under $200, so don't fall for this marketing scam. Thanks for watching. Visit drekytech.com for more.